What is up, everyone? What is good? It is me, the Mad King Paradox S, bringing you guys and gals Pokemon Sun and Moon Episode 47 live reaction. Now, I'm a little late this time, so I'm going to get it started. And again, there won't be any sound because I do not think I can get away with that. Also, if you want to follow along, do so on another browser while I give my two cents in the background. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, without further ado, let's get started in 3, 2, 1, go. And we start with that book again that makes me think that all these episodes are the same episode. Like, th that confuses me more than you could possibly imagine. <laughs> Ditto! Alright, here we go. And we're giving Pikachu a bath. Just like a rock there, just watching. A little creepy. Oh. Cosmog, where are you going? Oh, you're putting a bunch of bubbles on you. Okay. I'm like, what are you doing? Oh, bye, Litton. Lycan Rock, what are you doing? This is going to be one of those... Nope, not the full opening segment. All right. Okay, so he's giving Lycan Rock the bath next instead. Okay. Well, I mean, just because you're a rock type doesn't mean you can't bathe. Oh, so he made a bubble out of Pikachu. All right. <laughs> Hi, Litton. <laughs> oh, and Litton just spills the water all over Lycan Rock. Lycan Rock. And he's all dirty again. Oh! Okay! Just went all red-eyed there for a moment. <laughs> he's just chasing him around. Oh, they're both going to attack him simultaneously. Oh, Ash. That had to hurt really bad. It's a nice little beach scene. Yeah, just give him another bath. It's all you can do. Oh, so this is just a little, like, bonding moment thing for him and Lycan Rock. Well, now he's thinking about Gladium. Are you going to teleport? Tch. 
and he was thinking about Gladian. Oh, type no. Hi, Pinsir. Ash, I would get off of that. Yeah, run away, run away. <laughs> oh, what move was that? Hi, Lycan Rock. Hey, Umbreon. And now you came face to face with Tight Null. Oh, and of course, he's attracted the Cosmog. All right, so uh, Gladian's uh getting a little upset now. So I was just telling him how he got the Cosmog. All right. The forgive me for this, but the little sub thing translation isn't really that good so I'm having to piece together what it is they're saying it's a really weird translation yeah I wanted to show you that I had a lichen rock that's never been before been discovered before but then you had type null and I just shut my mouth right then and there But your Lycan Rock already knew. Your Lycan Rock was there. Oh, yeah, the flashback with Lily. Really? Wait. So the reason Lily couldn't touch Pokemon was because she got attacked by... Oh, I can't never remember what that thing's name is pronounced. Uh, UB01. And he was too scared to do anything about it. All right, so that's his goal.
Well, I mean, it's not really hard to defeat Cosmog. All you can do is teleport. Yes, Ash created. Yeah, that's a good question. Why did they choose you? <laughs> well, I mean, it's all valid questions on Gladian's part. And he doesn't even know about Greninja. Oh, he wants the battle. Of course. Oh, so Ash wants it to be his new Lycanroc versus Type Null. Type Null's going to wipe the floor with him. It's Lycanroc! Oh, Rotom's not with him. Here, I thought he'd be going ape nut over the fact that there'd be, there was a tight null there. Oh, not the thing again. It's obvious what happened. Why you have to go detective mode, I have no idea. And Linton just doesn't care. Oh, I'm glad you got your priority straight. I need to find Ash. But there's a but there's a special episode of my show on today. Cosmog's just sleeping. <laughs> Lycan Rock. Well, I mean, it would be a threat if it wasn't so under trained. Is it something to rejoice? <laughs> it's Ash. Yes, it is. Huh. Smacks it back. Watch out for Cosmog! Swords dance. Oh, that's not good. That is really not good. Is that Metal Claw or Crush Claw? That's devastating power, though. Oh, that had to be a lot of damage. 
Well, sword stance, attack and speed. Excel Rock. All right. It's not a bad move to have. Oh, this move again? All right. Ash, I would uh, excel rock out of the way. Too late. And Lycan Rock is in the water. Oh, no. You got Lycan Rock dirty. Oh, you, d <clears throat> you, um, run, just run, don't even stay there, just run, just that slow walk, he's like, Ash, don't even bother, this is mine. He's like, yeah, you really need to train that Lycan Rock. <laughs> like I said, Lycan Rock's main problem is the fact that it is severely undertrained. So now they're going to have a fight without commands, it looks like. Lycan Rock is not having it. <laughs> oh no. Cosmog blew away all the dirt and made its hair shiny. Fight continue. <laughs> but yeah, Ash, that is a very valid point. Another swords dance? Are you serious? Yeah, two um two swords dances makes it fast enough to go with the Excel Rock. I still want to know if that's Metal Claw or Crush Claw. And one shotted. Oh, he has type no on a premier ball. Alright, so he's aware of the fact that neither of them are strong enough to take on an Ultra Beast. Which I think Ash is with his other Pokemon. If he were to actually bring some over.
Yeah, pretty much don't tell anyone I was here, and don't say anything about Titan all. This has to be kept way under the radar for now. I mean, just use... <laughs> we need to teleport home, but Cosmog's asleep. <laughs> well, that is it for this episode. Pretty much just character interaction between Ash and Gladian along with some development with Lycanroc, and getting to know Type No a little bit. So, oh no, pretty good. So this is it for this episode. I will see you all in episode 48, depending on if it's subbed yet or not. I don't know, I'll have to check on that. But anyway, I will see you all then.